Let's have a review of these two microphones, namely AKG C314 and AKG C414. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. Both microphones are in omni mode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. Both microphones are in omni mode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. Both microphones are in cardioid mode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. Both microphones are in cardioid mode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. Both microphones are in supercardioid mode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. Both microphones are in supercardioid mode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. Both microphones are in the figure of 8 mode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. Both microphones are in the figure of 8 mode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. Both microphones are in the figure of 8 mode, and I'm speaking into the backside of the capsule. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. Both microphones are in the figure of 8 mode, and I'm speaking into the backside of the capsule. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Test. Next up, I'm going to equalize both microphones with a matching EQ so that they sound as close to each other as possible. And we'll see or hear whether this works or not. Next up, I'm going to equalize both microphones with a matching EQ so that they sound as close to each other as possible. And we'll see or hear whether this works or not. 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 And to summarize this brief review, the C314 is a little beast for the money. Officially, it's just two decibels noisier than its elder brother, but in reality, come on, give me a break. 86 decibels of dynamic range is more than enough for any practical purpose. And I like the sound of this microphone even better than its elder brother right out of the box. The C414, in my opinion, sounds a little bit nosy in literal sense and boxy. So this one sounds a little bit noisier and this one sounds a little bit nosier. And here's an interesting find. If we look at the specs of both microphones, we can see that the signal to noise ratio of uh, the 414 is 88 decibels A weighted. And the signal to noise ratio of the 314 is 86 decibels A weighted, which equals to 6 decibels of self-noise for the 414 and 8 decibels of self-noise for the 314. But is it true? That's the question. Let's listen and measure. My methodology is quite simple. I make sure that both recordings are matched in terms of RMS or LUFS measured level. And then 
I measured the self noise of the recordings. I've done a couple dozen of tests and they all yielded like 1.5 to 2.5 decibel difference. The 414 has always been the winner. But you couldn't hear that in the example recordings that I played you previously, could you? And here's the catch. Let's look at the spectrum charts. So, the blue one here is the 314, and it goes below here beyond 40 something hertz. And the green one down here is the 414, and it goes all above here beyond 40 something hertz. See already? So my guess is that the official measures might be correct, but it's just because uh, the 314 has a lot of low frequency rumble here, but the 414 has actually more noise in the audible frequency range all over here. So initially I was thinking about selling the 314 and keeping the 414 because you know you can go wrong with less noise and more versatility but now I'm seriously considering keeping the 314 because it actually has less noise in the audible range and I like its frequency response better. At least it's true for the two specimens that I happen to have. But after all, all those spectrum differences just don't matter because these days you can use the digital matching EQ to make any large diaphragm condenser microphone sound like any other large diaphragm condenser microphone if you know how to EQ properly. And another thing to consider is that C314 has a pre-polarized capsule. Well, there are different studies on that matter, but basically it will lose about one decibel of sensitivity within a decade or two. So its sensitivity will slowly degrade over its lifespan. But practically, if you buy this microphone, you're set for life. That's it. So once again, this little guy here is a beast. It's a very good bang for the buck, and I'm more than happy to recommend it.